Dr. Meeta Sharma, consulting as embryologist at Birla Fertility and IVF. Before we begin, I would like to introduce you to Birla Fertility and IVF, where we offer compassionate care and clinically reliable fertility solutions for both men and women. Our experts have experience of more than 14,000 IVF cycles and specialize in developing tailored treatment protocol with consistently high success rate. Now, let's begin with today's topic. In this video, I will tell you about an infertility treatment program called ICSI, why it is done and if you should opt for it. What is ICSI? ICSI is basically intracytoplasmic sperm injection. It is the treatment in which single sperm is selected and injected into the cytoplasm of the oocyte. ICSI is planned on the day of ovum retrieval of the patient in ART cycle. On the day of ovum pickup, the follicular fluid is aspirated by the clinician and sent into the laboratory for screening of oocyte cumulus complex in the follicular fluid which is done by embryologist. Now the embryologist screen the follicular fluid and take out all the OCC complex which are present in the follicular fluid and incubate them into the incubator. After almost two hours of the incubation, these OCC complexes, they are further processed so as the cumulus cover of the oocyte is removed and oocytes can be checked for their maturity. Only matured oocyte, that is M2 oocytes, are selected for performing the ICSI procedure. On the same day, semen sample is collected by the male partner of the female and this semen sample is also processed in the lab so as to be used for the ICSI procedure. However, if the male is not able to produce the semen sample, on the same day, surgical retrieval of the, uh, of the sperms from the male partner can also be planned so that the sperms can be used for the ICSI procedure. So the sperms are processed in sperms are processed whether fresh ejaculated sample whether the frozen sample or whether the surgically retrieved sample they are processed to be used for the ICSI procedure ICSI is done with the help of highly refined instruments known as micro manipulator these micro manipulators they are equipped with the inverted microscope so small movements can be done under high magnification. Micro manipulators, with the help of micro manipulators, oocytes can be held by one by one micro manipulator, which is known as holding pipette, and sperm is injected by another, which is known as injecting pipette. ICSI is performed in specialized petri dish which are known as ICSI dishes and in these in this ICSI dishes whole procedure is performed sperms are kept in one droplet of PVP and then oocytes denuded oocytes or mature oocytes are kept separately from the sperm in the different droplets now under the high magnification First, in first process, sperms are selected from the pool of spermatozoa which is present in the ICSI dish. These sperms are selected on the basis of their motility or, and on the basis of their morphology. So most normal looking sperm is selected by the embryologist. It is aspirated into the injecting pipette and then the mature oocyte in the another droplet is holded by the holding pipette and now the sperm which is selected it is injected into the cytoplasm of the oocyte. 
and then both pipettes are released they are released gently so that no shock should be given to the oocyte once the procedure is completed the oocytes are kept back into the incubator and then these oocytes are further checked for the fertilization after 17 to 18 hours of the injection the success rate of the ICSI procedure is equivalent to that of the IVF. ICSI is basically recommended for male factor infertility in which either the male is having very poor quality of the sperms, either their count or motility is low or morphology is very bad, in, the, in that case ICSI is recommended. Or when these sperms are, have to be retrieved surgically, that is, these sperms are directly retrieved from the testes or epididymis. In that case, ICSI is recommended. ICSI can also be done when the couple has gone through total fertilization failure or poor fertilization rate in previous IVF cycles. If there are risk of transmitting viral infections such as HIV, HBSAG or HCV, in that case also ICSI is recommended. When the couple is planning to undergo PGD or PG, PGS that is pre-implantation genetic diagnosis or screening of the embryos, in that case also ICSI is recommended. If you would like to know more about the treatments for infertility, click the subscribe button below and visit our website for more information. If you have any unanswered question, please comment below and we will make more video for you.